Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting algebra questions. Square root of square root 121 minus 120. How can you do this? Of course, the main idea to solve this kind of question with square root is to create a formula inside this square root. So, if we have, for example, square root of a minus b square, of course, we can write it as absolute value a minus b. So, if we will be able to create a formula right here, it will be a really good simplifying trick. So, we know that a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab and plus b square. So, let's try to create a formula right here. First of all, we can calculate this square root of 121. So, we will have as a result, we will have square root of 11, of course, minus square root of 120. We need, of course, a 2 right here, but we have square root of 120. How can we do with this? Of course, let's try to simplify this square root of 120. So, as a result, we will have minus, and of course, we need 2, but we have 120. How can we do with this? Let's express this 120 as 4 times 30. Then we will take square root of 4, it will be over 2. So, let's do the next thing. Square root of 11 minus to square root of 30. Okay, what we're going to do next? Of course, we have 11 right here, but we don't have our second number. We don't have our b. But as you can see, this 30 is a product as 5 times 6, and this 11 can be written as 5 plus 6. So let's do this. First of all, let's write this 11 as 5 plus 6. So we will have square root of 5 plus 6, it will be our 11 and minus 2. And let's just write this square root 30 as 5 times 6. Okay, I think you understand me. It's really easy steps right here. So we will have, we have our square root of 5 times 6. So we can simplify this a little bit. We have our 5 plus 6 minus 2. And let's write this square root of 5 times 6 as in square root of 5 times square root of 6. We can write this because we have, for example, the same exponent, same power, and we can write it, if we have a product, we can write it in that way. Okay, what we're going to do next? It's really good case right now because we have 2 times our a times our b, but we don't have our a and b right here because we have, for example, not exactly the same as right here. How can we do this right here? Of course, we can write this 5 as square root of to the second power and plus square root of 6 to the second power. It will be the same as right here. And the last step, minus square root of 5 times square root of 6. And this is our formula. This is our formula right here. This is our a minus b as right here. So we can write this as square root of square root of 5 minus square root of 6 square. And as a result, we will have a situation like that. We will have absolute value of square root of 5 minus square root of 6. How can we simplify this absolute value? Of course, we need to know that this square root of 5 is less than square root of 6. So square root of 5 is less than square root of 6. So our final answer will be we need to put minus right here. So as a result, we just swap these our values. So as a result, we will have square root of 6 minus square root of 5. And this is our answer. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.